J E S U S Today is a wonderful day. It's a glorious day. For me, the number 10 stands for double grace. And then, of course, the Trinity is represented in this day. And it stands for the Father, the number one. And um, it has been a journey for me. It's been so wonderful for me on this particular ecclesiastical journey with Christ Jesus. So for me to see 10 years of ministering before people in a sense, um, it's, it's something that I'm so grateful about. It's something that I'm so excited about that I have lived in the midst of tribulation, adversity, and gossip, and blackmail, and name calling, negative name calling, that today I am here celebrating a decade of God's faithfulness. I'm still here. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you to the mother that gave birth to me and nurtured me and um, handed me over to God before, you know, I even knew that I had a calling of God upon my life that she dedicated me on the altar of God that I would do ministry. I want to thank my husband, my husband, Sa Ibanga Akwabio. I want to say thank you to him for being there for me, for being very supportive. And one of the things that I'm going to say tonight is that I really do appreciate my husband for standing tall and being a rare gem among the rhinestones. A lot of things has gone through his mind. I know he has heard a lot of negativities, but the fact still remains that my husband stood by me and he has never for one day said to me, you can't minister before the fence. And I want to thank my children for being mommy's number one fan and being my muse and always very supportive of me. Princess Rachel, Princess Uyai, Rachel, and Ethiop Abasi, and Ubong Abasi. I want you to know that mommy loves you. And of course, I see an Abasi. Mommy loves you guys. You guys are just wonderful kids. Thank you so much to my extended family, maritally, and my own biological family. Thank you for always coming out when I have an event to support. And God bless you. Advice you. Well, I'm going to say this. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. You gotta believe in your dreams and what God has called you to do. There is no shortcut to glory. You either pay the price by service or you buy it with money. But I'm telling you, man, it's better you pay time and um, serve than to say you wanna buy glory with money. The money, you, your glory you buy with money is not gonna last you. But the one that you serve time to get, that's the glory that will last you for eternity. And of course, your generation will benefit from it. That's why I say eternity. I just want to say, be real to yourself. Love yourself. Because if you love yourself, you can love anybody. There is just nothing that anybody's going to say that will change the call of God upon your life. Just make up your mind and realize that whether you're doing good, people will talk. Whether you're doing bad, people will talk. Whether you're not doing at all, people will still talk. So make up your mind to do what God has called you and ordained you to do. In the end, trust me, you will get a crown of glory.